Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export for You and welcome to part 71 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We've just defeated Meek Shuana and she's wondering what our plans are regarding these negotiations we want to reopen. Oh nice, I could use some more pearl steel. In particular for an item I haven't built yet. But uh, you won't see that for another couple parts. Again, we're reopening negotiations with Mikshuane. So, Avaro talked about common points we might find that we could walk together on. So, what's up with that? Even if she and her angels retreat from here, Masteria isn't going to abandon his duties. No matter how many times, as long as the castle continues to exist, they're going to keep coming after us. Oh, well, yeah, that's pretty crappy, huh? Okay, yeah, we can live with that. Huh? That is something that the rulers of the world decided and everything. So it's not something you should break. And we recognize that we did it for our own individual reasons. And if he continues living as she is, that's pretty bad. And it'll probably come down to a fight with Masteria if sooner or later. We get it. Okay, if Avaro is going to admit all of that, how exactly do you expect us to walk together on anything? Okay, the castle is a taboo existence. But with regard to that, that situation, he'd like to talk a bit. We attempted to bring it up before, but let's do this negotiation. What we want is time, basically. We would like to find some way to solve this without Fia having to die. So we want to put a postponement on the destruction of the castle. Postpone? Hmm. In other words, we're okay with the the castle being destroyed at some point, but as the apostle who believes in her, he wants the time to find a way to save Fia. Yeah, if we can find a way, that's what we want. After all, the problem is the weapon that draws its power from faith in gods. If we were able to disconnect Fia from the castle, and the two were independent of each other, then there wouldn't be a problem, right? But no. Even if they were able to safely disconnect Fia and the castle, the continued existence of these techniques that turn that faith power into military might is not something they could leave alone. Hmm. Okay then. If after we separated the two of them, we modified the castle so it didn't use those techniques. Uh, well, by that argument, yes, that's correct. 
何も損なわない未来のことを言っているのですか Ah, she sees. The solution we're aiming for is a future in which harms no one. Ah, yes. Mikshuana san, right? With you as our partner, our, our counterpart in this negotiation, it's good that you listen calmly to these things. Well, she did do research on this to see if there was some other way other than destroying it. In other words, she too wanted to find a way to save Fia and all this. She just didn't find one before, well, we got here. So, she's asking us if we think we're, we're going to find such an answer if we're given enough time. But that's a bit short, as far as she thinks. She too would like a future where no one gets hurt, but this isn't a negotiation if they aren't actually offering her anything. Hey, don't take her lightly. Oh boy, she's straightforward. Not that that's a bad thing. All right. One more, then. Consider this. If these negotiations fail, we will continue to resist, after all. And in certain circumstances, we might actually use this nightmarish weapon. And if that happens, you do realize how many people will be hurt by it, right? Ooh, are you threatening her? Well, we said before the fight so much that we didn't have any intention of using, taking advantage of the castle for military means. So this seems like an interesting switch. Yeah, furthermore, Masteria doesn't mind, or that doesn't matter to Masteria. Well, I've always cooled down a bit in the fight. And it's true, they don't have the intention of doing it now either. It's just a point in negotiation. Avar would like her to convey that to any higher ups she happens to have. So, it's a bluff. It's a realistic possibility that you should consider. Ah, uh, anyway, leaving that aside. The next point. Avara wants to ask if there is any benefit Masteria might we might be able to bring to Masteria while still not using the castle as a military weapon. We still don't know much about these angels or what they're doing, so we can't really speculate about how we could offer them any services, but Oh so you Maybe she has something. But she gets the drift. So. so, if we do accept these negotiations, I've always saying that Fia and the Guadalcuna Castle We'll take actions for the benefit of Masteria. Well, yes, if we have the time to do it, that's what we'll do.
This is kind of their bottom card, but it's a pretty good one, actually. So, why don't we talk about how we can cooperate? And it's alright if you put in time living on this postponement, after all. <laughs> A time limit. So, she speculates that we have some goal that we'd like to see through in this postponement period. She is pretty sharp. So, yeah, we want to get Fia to her destination. Well, we've talked about how Fia doesn't have her memories. So we have a destination that we're trying to get to. And Avaro thinks that it is not some meaningless place. What's really bothering Avaro in particular is what Fio was like before she lost her memory. What she was like, what she did before she lost her memory. If they were able to find that out, they'd probably find out how she became unified with the castle. Okay, so... Destination! So she's thinking about this now. Alright, Fia. You said there was a place you wanted to go with the castle. Yep. There's some place she has to go no matter what. She has actually been keeping quiet because she figured she wouldn't be a, a lot of use butting into the nego no, negotiation between Avaro and Mikshuana. So she looks at Avaro. Avaro gives her a nod. So basically, yeah, tell her. She wants to go to the God's Haze. She can't remember the reason, no matter how she tries. But she knows she absolutely has to go. That's the Fuchsia Church's holy ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it is. And she's really hoping that Mikshuana will leave off and let her us get there. Alright, so Mikshuana turns back to Avaro to continue that. So, if we go to the God's Haze, Avaro assesses that we can find a way to separate her from the castle. At the very least, yes, he does think so. And even if we don't, we can at least try and find some ways on the way. We'll have that time to do so. And even if it's just that, we would be thankful. Hmm. So inside of Infrudu's kingdom, here and there, there are those symbols that were also carved inside of Guadalcuna Castle. If, as Mikshurano was saying, those things are of similar type to the taboo taboo weaponry that is the castle, then that means there were several of these types of weapons around the place. And that's what's bothering Avaro. Who exactly made all of these mobile weapons anyway? And how did exactly did they bind the gods into powering them?
And through what circumstances did Fia end up sealed inside of Guadalcuna Castle? Before I go on, I remembered something I wanted to mention last time. No, two times ago. Two parts ago. So, this is the old scene where I've all met Fia, and we busted her out and started doing stuff. A couple chapters later, we got our two cat girls. In fact, Mikkeu was kidnapped and we had to go rescue her with Eel. And during that time, Gaidal infiltrated the castle, since it was empty, and said some cryptic crap to himself before leaving. Among which was, the thing that should be here is not here. And now that we've learned about what she was doing there in the first place, I think what Gaidal was talking about was the power source, or Fia, wasn't where he expected to find it. Well, I may be right or I may be wrong, but I thought I would share that speculation with you. Back to the plot. So, if we can learn how it was that Fia got sealed inside the castle, as a countermeasure, maybe we can find a way to save her. Again, it all goes back to thinking about the war between the believers in the old gods and the forces led by Fuchsia. Remember, that was in the old days of the present god. It, this was after the big god war, so it was kind of an after war that some of the believers tried to keep on. That was when Fiushi was deified. Uh, anyway. And furthermore, Fuchsia's name resembles Fia's name way too much. Why do they keep saying that? So, Avaro thinks that the Fuchsia faith has got some secret. And if we go to the God's Haze, we get to learn what it is. Everything seems to be connected to that place. That's the feeling Avaro gets. Oh, look at this. The mission that Mikshuan received from the Masteria Church was actually the research of the insides of the Influus Kingdom and the Fuchsia Church. The Fuchsia Faith. Now, she learned about the Guadalcuna Castle and the taboo in the course of this other research. So we were kind of a side quest for her. So this is an advantageous meeting point between us. And it's actually a rather good deal, she thinks. So, this taboo weapon with the power of the gods actually has the possibility of breaking into that closed off holy ground. So it's actually a pretty alluring proposition. All right, she's thought about it. That's her opinion. Very well. Guadalcuna Castle's destruction will be temporarily postponed. Yeah, victory! Yep, for reals. 
心境の山路の調査をさせることつまり私への協力です期間内は城塞に移り住むことになるでしょう So the condition is to allow the monastery church's people to investigate the god's haze in other words cooperating with Mikshana Hopefully we'll be able to do Oh, I said that wrong. I interpreted that wrong. For the duration of this, we're going to be inhabiting the castle for with us, with Avaro and company. So, the time given is until we reach the God's Haze. But I thought the condition was allowing you to research it. If we're just trying to reach it, that isn't time. But I'm nitpicking. Anyway, if we can't find a way to solve Fia's taboo problem by that time, she is going to have to destroy the castle. So are all these red armored angels coming with us? Well, no. The majority of the subjugating flames will remain here and continue to research the Influus Kingdom. So she doesn't want to display to Influus Kingdom or to the Fuchsia Faith that we Angra Guadalcuna are cooperating with the Monasteria Church. I mean, what kind of mess would that be? So it's a secret mission, is it? So in other words, the ones coming with us on the castle will be Mikshuana and a few others. Hi. Fiaspia Chiho Tanto Daihyo. Kono Mikshuana ga anata gata no tabichi ni dokou shimasu. That's right. She is the representative of the forces of the Fiaspia region. Man, that's pretty long. Will accompany us on our journey. Kore wa kanshi no imi mo fukumete orimasu. And furthermore, she'll kind of be overwatching the castle as well. If we are revealed to be one of the taboos, she's going to have to destroy us immediately. Or rather, move to destroying us. In other words, we need to keep it a secret from the general public that, well, all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, you guys are really good at keeping things under wraps. Well, at the very least, we got what we wanted. So this is all because we haven't been found out as taboo by Influus Kingdom and the surrounding countries? So That's correct. She says that so much. Ah, I see. This is very much like Mikshuana. This judgment. Oh. She says Avaro doesn't need to use honorifics when addressing her. So, from now on, we are accomplices. Heh. <laughs> anyway, as much as possible, she'd like to get along with us. She is not smiling. She's a pretty harsh uh, accomplice to be having. Okay, got it. So, it's good to be working with you, Mikshana. And you can call Avaro Avaro as well. Her reply 
is a knob. How uncute. Uh, at the very least, say his name once. Okay, so, Tia, it's good to be working with you. So, her mission from Masuri is her first priority, but outside of that, she's willing to lend a hand. She'll fight in battles, for instance. Uh, she still... They do these things like by, of showing humility by saying she is talentless. So, she's not, but she's trying to be humble here. So, as much as the conditions allow, she'll try to help Protect Mamor to the best. Protect Fia to the best of her ability. Okay. It's a pleasure to be working with you. Oh, yes, and you can call Fia Fia as well. Without the honorific, she wants to get along with you too. Ah, uh, no, she cannot address a present god without the honorifics. Oh, hmm. No, that's too bad. She was kind of hoping to get along with her. And all. <laughs> of our observes that Fia is still kind of a little bit scared of Nikshuana. Okay, with that, she's got other business in the aftermath of the battle to clean up. So, she'll see us on the castle later. Bingo! Man, she's awesome, isn't she? Her stats were better when she was my enemy, though. Especially her resistances. I think she actually had plus two in her cold. Or perhaps it was zero. Anyway, she's in my party now. Isn't that awesome? So, that's what she said, and she walks away. Alright, so we'll be waiting for her. And we'd like to share meals and things. She doesn't respond. She looks a little bit like she's gonna cry. Ah, so it worked out somehow. But it was a pretty wearying battle. And a negotiation. Yeah, both of them, huh? So, now we know a little about the truth of the castle. And we get to continue forward. So, we better explain this to the people living on the castle, don't we? And review, review. Mikshuan is coming with us. She says she's going to participate in battles on our behalf, but can we really call her an ally? Oh, come on. Don't be... Don't be so cheap about whom you call allies. So anyway, let's think about how what we do when we return to the castle. So, in other words, next up we return to the castle and we see another scene. It's actually not a really interesting scene, because it's just Avaro talking to some guys. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.